Hello everyone and welcome to Python tutorial series. Today is day six and we will be working on union and intersection in Python. So let me quickly go to the Google Collab. I'm going to have a new notebook. The internet is little slow today. And click on connect over here. Let me just rename the file Union and Intersection. Cool. So union and intersection in Python is pretty much, I think it's, it's very straightforward, I would say. And uh, before we start, let's create a couple of sets over here. So I can say maybe one, two, four, six, eight, and maybe 10 here, and then set two, which will be like one, three, five, seven, nine. Now maybe we can create a set three as well, um, with let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let me run it and add one line item over here. So running a union in Python is, is very straightforward. You just have to say print set one full stop period union with set two, right? And run it. So you can yeah right now so you can see on the screen that you know we have set one and set two values club together in one particular set right so it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the good part is when we run a union it only gives unique values so for example in set one we have one over here set two we also have one over here but when we run it a union we get a unique value set over here let me run one more time over here uh, print set two with set three right hit run so you can see that we have same set three because it has everything which is a which is a bigger set over here and carrying all the values which we have in set one and set two. Let's try for intersection now, right? Similarly, we have intersection, right? So let's say set one intersection with set two, right? If I go down, there's only one value which is one. The reason is because only one value is common in set one and set two. Let me do it for set two versus set three and see what we are going to get. Let's say print set two intersection set three. We should get set two. So one, three, five, seven, nine, because these are the only common um, integers we have between set two and set three. And that is why when we run the intersection over here, we receive one, three, five, seven, nine, right? In the next video, we will be working upon the um, string slicing. Basically, if you just need information from the text or a string, um, a portion of it, how can we get that piece of information? Thank you.